Wow. I have no idea what is going to be involved in this video. Oh, nobody cares about you. I really don't like to share negative stuff on my YouTube channel, but sometimes all of it just adds up all at once. Oh, nobody cares about you. I gotta run you guys through a bunch of stuff that has happened that has really gotten me down. Oh, nobody cares about you. Well, one of the supervisors said that she accidentally punched my driver's license, making it expired or invalid. And I gasped when she did it. I'm like, no! Oh my gosh! Oh, nobody cares about you. Okay, fine. Well, I waited around 30 days after that. Nobody knows this except me and my buddy monitoring my uh, post office box back home. Anyway, 30 days pass, and according to the little receipt, that's when you can go, that's when you can legally go back in and say, look, you guys didn't mail it. Um, well, they gave me a little a bit of problem at DOL, and they said, you know, no, we didn't lose it. We can confirm that we mailed it on this date. You should have got it three days later. Not, and it's been a month now, so go back to the post office. So, long story short, they, they literally make me go and talk to the postmaster of the Olympia post office, the state capital, where I have to use a key to unlock my mail. Oh, nobody cares about you. It's in like 30 days. I crap you not. I did not get it within 30 days again. Oh, nobody cares about you. So currently, although my driver's license is still good, does that make sense? If I get pulled over, even if I show them my punched ID and my piece of paper that verifies that I do have a license, um, I do have a driver's license. I just don't. Like, you walk into Walmart and try to buy beer with a punched ID and a piece of, a photocopy piece of paper, they look at you like, are you kidding me? It literally does not work anywhere outside of Washington State, a little temporary thing. I gotta just get lucky and have somebody not card me right now. Uh, I do have my passport as another piece of official uh, identification, just in case, but I need, because of what Washington State's doing to me, I have to set up residency in a new state. I have to. I am out of options. They cannot deliver a driver's license. Okay, I know I'm getting really emotional here and I'm starting to get kind of loud. Oh, nobody cares about you. I have a bunch of clips on this camera right now, plus basically two complete, almost completely finished videos on my MacBook Pro, which no longer works at all. My MacBook Pro, 2015, top of the line, $3,200 MacBook Pro quit working. Oh, nobody cares about you. And she says, okay, well, can you bring it into our office? The nearest ones are Green Bay, Wisconsin, and Detroit. We're just outside of Detroit, Michigan. I'm like... <laughs> oh, nobody cares about you. I'm thinking... I can't just buy a cheapo $300 computer. It has to have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM, a good processor, to even operate Adobe Premiere Pro and render the files and export those files. That's a lot of work on a computer. So I'm eyeing a $800 to $1,300 temporary computer to get me by until I can drop off my MacBook. And I'm not staying there. It could take up to 90 days to get my MacBook back. I'm not staying there. I'm gonna give them my information explicitly saying that I need my hard drive back even if you can't fix it and have to give me a brand new MacBook. <sighs> oh, nobody cares about you. So I was getting ready to leave about an hour ago. And believe me, I'm not like worried or concerned or anything. I'm just monitoring what's going on. Um, the RV didn't sound right and it's been three days since I fired it up. I didn't let it run very long because it sounds like there's a problem. Oh, nobody cares about you. I do need to add one more thing just for reference for all those professional mechanics out there who always like to comment on my video and tell me, it's obviously this, I know it without 100% of the, you know, and it's like, dude, I already shared that and talked with you and told the world that I got it fixed. So the codes I have for them, P0171, Fuel Trim System Lean Bank 1. P0174, Fuel Trim System Lean Bank 2. P0430, Catalyst System Low Efficiency Bank 2. And P1351, Ignition Control Module Circuit High Voltage. What I have done in the last less than a year to try to resolve this one fuel delivery problem. This is all, all the stuff. Plugs, rotor, distributor, cap, wires, 10,000 miles ago. 
new battery, new solenoid, new ignition control module 5,000 miles ago, crank position sensor 5,000 miles ago, mass airflow 5,000 miles ago, new catalytic converter 20,000 miles ago, uh, fresh oil, air filter, and a fuel filter at 3,000 miles ago, and every other 3,000 miles since and fuel pump 20,000 miles ago or a year ago, although you're still going to have professional mechanics write in the comments below and tell me one of those things is the obvious issue and I'm stupid because I haven't done it yet. Oh, nobody cares about you! At some point, got to park the RV, tear apart the engine, and replace all of those injectors and everything and put it back together. That's fine, I don't mind. I never complained about it, I knew it had to get done. But right now, Oh my gosh, I don't even know how to say this. I visited five repair shops here in Marquette. Nobody will touch my RV. Nobody will work on it. They said it's too big. Guys, it's a Chevy Express 3500 van. The toilet and the stove mean nothing. Don't worry about it. Pop the hood and fix these things. But they just said they don't have the capabilities or they don't have the lift. There's people walking by, so I'm gonna stop Oh, nobody cares about you. I am not a welder. I have to get the catalytic converter welded. I do not carry welding equipment with me. Do you realize that? And if you do, and you have a trailer full of all the stuff to do your own repairs on the road, great. Here's a cookie. I don't care. <laughs> oh, nobody cares about you. I really don't like to share negative stuff on my YouTube channel. I really don't like to share negative stuff on my YouTube channel. I really don't like to share negative stuff on my YouTube channel. I really don't like to share negative stuff on my YouTube channel. I really don't like to share.